This is Ronald Cotton. He was identified in a police lineup for the brutal rape of a 22-year-old woman. He spent 10 years in prison before he was later acquitted based on DNA evidence. Research shows that nearly 70% of wrongful convictions happen because of eyewitness misidentification. A key factor in misidentification is that eyewitnesses are often guided by their first impressions of the suspects in a lineup. And it's not just lineups. Whether you're interviewing for a job or uploading a picture on a dating app, your first impression can strongly impact how you're judged even before you get the chance to speak. However, a lot of the research that looks at first impressions uses images that look a bit like this. And this is because if we use naturalistic images, it becomes extremely hard to pinpoint whether stereotypes related to race or gender or visual cues related to clothing or posture are responsible for forming first impressions. My PhD thesis aims to give an integrated account of how humans form first impressions. I do this by experimentally manipulating the race, gender, clothing, and faces of the individuals in my images. I run experiments where I first show a combination of these images to my human participants for a few seconds. I then distract my participants for a little while, and afterwards, I ask them about what they remembered from before. Based on the kinds of images that my participants remember, I can then identify what are the most important visual cues that are used in forming first impressions and why that might be the case. Thus, my PhD thesis can tell us what are the most dominant facial and bodily cues that contribute to first impressions, how do these cues interact with each other in the real world, and finally, how do racial and gender stereotypes bias our first impressions. My research has already been showing that clothing and posture can significantly alter first impressions at the perceptual and unconscious level. Moreover, these are results that haven't been found before because of using highly standardized images like on the right. My research can be used by the general public to maximize their visual appearance. But most importantly, it can be used in the criminal justice system to reduce unconscious bias so that the next time a person goes on trial, they're truly assumed to be innocent before being proven guilty. Thank you so much.